Hey, what's cracking, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Four Minute Midnight Podcast with me, Heechul is not gay. This is episode number eight, and you just listened to the hottest track on Unpretty Rap Star as of now, "Nega Nega Hey" by Timas Aesthetics, Giu Bin from last night's episode. Okay, before we go to a pretty rap star, let's start with some chart action, specifically Hyana. She con- she continues to top uh, charts in both Korea and China as Roll Deep is now number one for the seventh time, actually it's the eighth time, on uh, Gaon social chart. So she has surpassed her last, uh, her last from last, her last album, in terms of number ones for number ones on Gaon social chart. And uh, So number so eighth, it's the eighth number one for Roll Deep. Actually, it, it's tied. It has tied Red for the most weeks at number one. And uh, overall, Hyona has num has sixteen number ones on Gaon Social Chart. Meanwhile, Crazy is number four on Gaon Social Chart at the on the week that ended uh, October twenty fourth. So, uh, despite the slow start, Roll Deep is has continued to be is continuing to be uh, steadily increasing in popularity. Actually, Hanteo sales total of five thousand two hundred seventy five copies for A plus. 
as for as for uh, video views 17 million uh, videos uh, video views on YouTube for Roll Deep the vid- music video for Roll Deep <clears throat> Okay, so that's it. Uh, th- again, uh, these numbers are brought to you by at 4M underscore JP. Follow him on Twitter for all the latest statistics and chart updates for 4 minutes. Okay, a quick announcement. Uh, our loyal South American Fornia um, from Colombia right nana is attending the latin american fan bash of four minute and she's inviting everybody to or anybody to send messages if anyone wants to send a message or anything to four minute uh, feel free to contact her or tweet her at Lat Latuk, L A T T D T U K. Okay. Anyone else who wants, uh, who has an announcement to make, or anyone who is att- who plans to attend the fan bash in Latin America, if you want something out, okay, you can tweet me at hijolis.gay. <clears throat> okay, so let's go on to the next uh, Last night was the Changwon Festival From KBS uh, for, uh, YouTube links are not out yet But it was shown live It was broadcasted live uh, at, By KBS So let's wait just a few days KBS usually uh, uploads videos uh, relatively quickly compared to other YouTube channels. <clears throat> okay, pictures you can see, you can find the pictures from the concert on the on this podcast. Uh, it will be there will be a few pictures uploaded with this with this vid- in this video. Okay, next, uh, Nam Ji Yun's. Oh, wait, before we go to Nam Ji Yun's web drama, there was an article on Pan. I think this was from a fan. This was, there's an article on Nate about Ho Gayon. I don't know where it is. It was so random. It's, uh, it's more like a comment, actually. The title is Ho Gayon, Beautiful Boss. This translation is courtesy of Unique the at Four Minutes Forum. Basically, uh, someone who it's a it's a love letter of sort or confession about how this. Fan likes Gaian so much. The name of the fan isn't here though, or the author of this uh, very flattering article. Okay. Ho Gaian, beautiful boss. Wow, she's really pretty no matter what hairstyle. Always makes me think, wow, pretty. She's pretty whether she has bangs or not. She also suits the mermaid princess concept very well. She was pretty during volume up too. As for someone like me, Used to only digging beast. Now I'm slowly becoming her fan. She sings, dances, dances. Mm-hmm. Even this variety shows very well too. But why isn't she getting popular? Why are her, why are her hands so small like that? That's random. <clears throat> wow, Hog Gion really is really able to pull off any hair color. Really pretty. Fornia, please give me some pictures of Gion. It would, it will be nice if she appears on. Let's eat. Uh, the show Let's Eat. Another, uh, another. I think this is another comment. I'm a fan of another group, which is really pretty. The one with the flower. Is that the Mermaid Princess stage? Wow, her, her face is small and pretty. For real. 
Uh, Ho Gayon is indeed really, really pretty, and the way she talks all, is also really charming. Cuh, cuh, cuh. I think uh, once I saw her in a making video of her wearing handbok and doing photo shoot for the holiday season. Ho Gayon said, Four Minute is chosen as the girl group that looks the best in handbok. And the member asked, Where? And she replied, My mom said that. Mom, I love you. Cuh, cuh, cuh. Really cute. Cuh, cuh. Okay, this the this comment is very on point. <clears throat> it's basically uh, a representation of all international of what all international foreigners think. Why isn't Gayon uh, popular, or at least uh, at the same level of some of like uh, who's that AOA check the the pretty one, not the rodent one the one who looks like a rodent solian solian something like that okay so uh the this comment or article whole guy and beautiful boss is on point about everything why isn't she popular she sings she, she sings well dances well okay she booty shakes well she does variety shows. She's entertaining on variety shows. Uh, and she's... She's really pretty, actually. The comments are, mo- are like uh, 70%. She's pretty. So it's... Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, it's also the same question us international foreigners have been asking... For a long, long time, I think it's because Gayon isn't really greedy in terms of being in the spotlight. She prefers like a laid-back, kind of chill, idle lifestyle. I mean, for a minute in general, I prefers that kind of um, chill, uh, laid-back approach. Except, of course. They, they like promote they like focusing on music more instead of uh, other stuff like uh, variety shows uh, movies and so on that's what I think so guy and souls are the same way I wonder if the the person who posted this uh, if it's a he or a she but anyway thank you for the translation uh, very interesting seems like a very random post or a very random comment from a netizen okay next uh, let's go to Nam Jiyeon's drama uh, like I mentioned in last week's podcast the the, the drama came out October tw- <coughs> October 27th and uh, you can find it on uh, Navercast it released 5 episodes uh, there's no YouTube link yet. If there is, someone link me the YouTube vid- the YouTube link for Nam Ji Yeon's drama. Two hundred. She's two hundred years old. So five episodes are up. <clears throat> According to people who have seen the episodes, uh, she's funny and cute. And uh, although the although her co-star is kind of lacking in terms of acting. And oh my god, there's a scene where her co-star was touching Nam Ji Yeon's boobies. What? Did this dude save the world in his previous life? How did he get this gig? A noob actor is able to touch Nam Ji Hyun's boobies. Let that sink in for a moment. If you're a foreigner, four minute fan, you know how big her. You you have a, an idea how big Nam Ji Hyun's boobies are, right? If not, check out the music video, ha, huh? and go back to this podcast. And then, 
watch the video watch the web series I don't know which episode is this from though this scene is from but there's a scene where the dude was touching our leaders titties and there's a funny scene where Nam Ji was shading, shaving her underarms which was kind of funny and she was dancing to crazy so I guess Nam Ji uh, went all in and in this all in in this series okay so you guys check it out five uh, episodes I'll post the link on the description or you can you can um, a miracle happened because Cube United tweeted the links to Nam Ji Yoon's drama so you can check out Cube United's tweet if not I'll post the, the links on the description box below so five episodes are out uh, please do support her her web series she's the lead and uh, make gifs for everyone for all of us okay she's 200 years old Hottest 200 years old you'll ever see. Okay, next is <clears throat> the Mnet Music Awards is coming up. And no surprise here, 4 Minute is not nominated for the best group or best female group at least. However, Hyona is nominated for the best dance performance solo at uh, the Mnet Music Awards against look how fucking messed up how how much Mnet sucks uh, Hyona is going against Gaian Niel of Teen Top JYP and Amber when did Gaian perform wasn't this like way a few a couple years ago or something or, or I haven't uh, and JYP who's your mama I guess he promoted this a couple of weeks yeah so all you guys go to Mnet's uh, mama.mwave.me and check out the nominees for uh, best dance performance solo vote for Hyona she's cur currently way behind Amber power of SM Amber is number one with 40% of the votes and Hyona is number two at, with 22%. If there's ever a, any justice in this world, Hyona will win. Based on performance alone, Hyona should win. But uh, nothing is fair in K-pop. Okay, another travesty, another... Another shitty list. For minute is four minute is nominated for best dance performance for a female group. Uh, four minute is going against Red Velvet, Exit. Uh, who else? AOA. Um, right, who else is 4 minute nominated against <clears throat> hold on ok anyway 4 minute is currently at number 3 in terms of votes Red Velvet is number one again, Power of SM with uh, 41%. Exit is number two with 16%. Aya, is it, wasn't Aya released last year? Shouldn't it have been. Shouldn't uh, qualify for last year's MA, ma, Mama? Why is it nominated for this year? Because it came back? It got popular again this year? The fuck? 
The craziest number three at fi- with fifteen percent of the votes. Even though it's a hope, it's pretty much uh, a hopeless case. It's voting. Uh, it's not much we can do. We have a small fandom compared to these gr- uh, groups. Please do support uh, and sh- and vote for Four Minute and Hyona. Hyona is also nominated for Best Female Artist against Taeyeon, Ayu, Ailey, and Boa. I mean, what the hell is this? Ayu came back like a couple weeks ago and she's already qualified and she's already nominated and Boa? What did, when did Boa come back? I don't know. I've been away. Uh, I don't really keep track of other groups or other other artists much except for 4 minutes. But yeah, go to Again, go to mama.mwave.me and look for Best Dance Performance Solo, Best Dance Performance for a Female Group, and Best Female Artist. That's it. 4 Minute is nominated for one uh, in one category. The hottest comeback of the, of the year and the group is nominated in just one category. Fucking K-pop, man. Okay, before we go to Unpretty Rap Star, someone tweeted me about, asked me to talk about Cube Injustice on Fornia and Beauty Bullying at Wing Chain. I asked him what it was, what he wanted specifically. I thought something came out, something new came out recently again between Fornia's and Beauties, which is the biggest, which is the most ironic fan name in history, Beauties. Because most of them are not beauties, but nothing. Uh, he was he, this person wanted to talk about it in general. But it is what it is. There's nothing much to talk about. Beauties are a bunch of are mostly a bunch of cunts and entitled entitled douchebags. While Fornias are very considerate and understanding people. So beauties are a bunch of selfish pricks who, who bullies all all cube all other cube fandoms. B2B Gina when she used to have fans. So yeah, not, uh, it is what it is. Fornias and beauties. I know some beauties are four minute fans. I don't know if some four, mi- four minute fans are B two West fans. I don't think so. Yeah. So at Wing Chain, I hope I was able to shed some light on your tweet on your question. If you guys have any other questions or feedback or something, you can tweet me or post in the comment section below. Okay, on Peter Rap Star 2. What happened last night? So last night was a team collaboration battle. Last week, I don't know where this thing came from, but uh, remember when I said the show me the money and on Peter Rap Star thing happened? So... Number one for number one and number three overall. Number one from Unbreedy Rap Star was Yezzy with 195 points. The Judy with 176. Out of 19 participants, Gion and Casper were were tied were tied at number 12, and then Yubin was next. Uh, Kitty B was last actually, surprisingly last. 77 points. A dude named Microdot was first 199 points. Okay, on Pretty Rap Start 2, what happened last night? So there was a team, uh, episode 8, same with this podcast, episode 8. 
So teamwork battle. Uh, so the teams were Yubin and Jiyun, Hyorin and Kitty B, Trudy and Hazy, Yezi and Suwa, and Casper and Xe. Okay, spoiler alert. Casper and Xe got eliminated, which is a, which is a tragic because Xe was uh, one of the better rappers from in the show. Unfortunately, Casper was so bad, she sucked so much that she dragged Exe down with her. And then, Ye- Yezi and Suwa, uh, Yezi was surprisingly terrible. She forgot her lyrics a lot. It was like, uh, this theme was like from the opposite sides of the spectrum the best and the worst Yezi and Suwa and so they were the included in the bottom two two groups and unfortunately in the end Yezi got kicked out because the girls or the people had to choose between Yezi and Suwa who would stay and uh, the girls chose I guess the weaker uh, the weaker the weaker bitch because uh, the Yezi was a, the strongest competitor the strongest rapper in the show so they got rid of her but in next week's episode there was a there were in the preview Yezi is back or Yezi was saved somehow and she'll be going against Trudy in uh, this battle I think yeah so better watch out for that okay Okay, so teamwork battle, uh, as per the track you heard earlier on this podcast, was from Yubin and Jiyun, Nega Nega Hey. Uh, according to At Purple Prism, it was about idol life. <clears throat> and uh, it was about idols like them, 4 Minute and Wonder Girls, right? members idols coming on the show and going for and aiming to win having their pride being challenged and doing all that and they did it in a witty witty and I guess funny manner because remember that in Jion's first episode or first appearance in Pretty Rap Star she got she got embarrassed to be honest because she had this embarrassing rap and the uh, like the hook was nega nega hey so it was Yubin's idea to use it as the hook for this collab track and it worked the judges loved it uh, first they were kind of skeptical about it when they first heard it but it worked everybody everybody bounced to it Nega nega hey. And if you notice, Jion wasn't shouting. She wasn't screaming during her part. Which was my biggest comment about her rapping. She always shouts, right? If you've if you've seen some of the tracks or some of her performances, rap performances, she she shouts her raps. Which I don't understand why live or not live she shouts so this time this last so last night she didn't and it produced it was great it was she did an excellent job both of them so good job congratulations they placed first Yubin and Jion uh, even I was surprised Everyone was surprised, uh, and and it was not out of pity. The others were, the others had good songs, good tracks, but this one was just better. Nega nega hey, so watch out for that track. Classic, future classic. You've been a Geo number one. Number two was Yorin and Kitty B, and then number three was Trudy and Hazy. So congratulations, and again Geo trended on Naver uh, and so did the show 
It trended on Naver last night. You've been also trended on Naver. Most seen news and most watched video. So trending machine John Chi Yun. Crazy, right? I hope this. Uh, I mean, this is just the start. I know this is just the start for you for Jiyun because she was always at the bottom. Ever since she came on the show, she always placed last. Uh, she always <clears throat> had one of the uh, weakest performances. But this conf this will definitely boost her confidence, and I hope it continues. It carries on. I think that's what I think. Uh, this is what she needs the most: a boost, a huge boost of confidence. <clears throat> okay, so let's check out some comments from Korea. Okay, there uh, there were there are two separate articles regarding Jiyun from last night's episode or this week. Okay, everybody showed support. Uh, Jiyun finds strength. I support you. This had two thousand over two thousand upvotes. Yubin seems to have a knack for lyrics and coming up with stage ideas. Jiyun's improving as well and did great today. I think Jiyun did great today. She made the right choice going with Yubin. Why does Yorin have to sound so cocky? Who knew that Nega Nega Hey would turn into something so positive? Something this positive. Right? Me too. Turning the good into the bad. Starting from the bottom, now she's on top. And more positive comments. This one is about Jiyun's uh, positive energy. Undying determination. She, uh, as a four-minute fans, we all know that she won't give up. She works hard. There was an article about Jiyun being dis disappointed with her performance on, on Pretty Rap Star. Uh, until last week and but she said that she won't give up she'll continue to fight unlike other people maybe who easily give up not Jian. so this was the comment about about that article she just works so hard every time she has an interview I look forward to what she's going to say Wow, that's very good. <clears throat> I had no idea who John Jiyun was. Just that she was that girl who wore sunglasses in Hyuna's group. But seeing her now, I find her so likable. My first impression of her was that she had a few screws loose. Loose in, in her head, but she's just a very innocent person with a hard-working personality. And something about the way she talks is so funny. Like she's not trying to be funny, but she, she just is. It's adorable. Her laugh, right? Her laugh is so unfeminine. Jiyun's the type where she doesn't try to outshine anyone but works hard at whatever she's given. She's certainly improving. Uh, Jiyun got so much hate at the start, but who knew that she'd end up doing this well? It's actually a blessing that she came on this show. Honestly, pisses me off that Jorin talks like that about her. Ooh, what did Jorin say? I want to know. What did Hyorin say about Ji Yun? Somebody tell me. Okay, I don't know if this is. She makes you laugh without intending to. That naive aspect of her personality is what makes her charming. She looks cocky and who knows what she's really like. And who knows what she's really like off camera, but she's like a vitamin. Very bright, energetic, and she works hard. She's cute and funny. Fighting. She has a great personality despite having been in the industry for so long. Uh, she, ha she has a great personality and despite having been in the industry for so long, there's still a naive charm to her. 
There were plenty of moments where she could have been mad, but she shined brighter by just trucking through it. I love her. She's such a positive energy. It's really hard to hate Jiyun. Uh, she doesn't do anything that would make you hate her. Maybe annoyed, like shouting during her raps, but it's impossible to hate her. It's impossible to hate 4 minute, really. So I'd, I'll never understand people who hate on... Even Yona. Yona performs provo provocatively. She does provocative stuff. Sexy but not slutty. And people... Some people hate her on that. Her outfit, she doesn't... She just wears sexy stage outfits. She's very... I mean... She doesn't even take like self selfies where she's wearing something revealing or something slutty. Leave, leave that to other groups like AOA or like uh, Girls Day. Take slutty selfies. Yana doesn't do that in real life. She's ju she just performs in a sexy and provocative way. So same with Jian. Uh, she's still not, she's still quite unknown. But hopefully this will give her, uh, this will make her a household name in Korea at least. So, so uh, congratulations. I hope uh, success continues for Jian in the show. I hope she doesn't get kicked out soon. And I hope she doesn't uh, place in the bottom for a while. Next week it will be Jion versus Kitty B. This battle. Uh, really looking forward to that because Kitty B is also one of the better rappers on the show. She's like the new version of Cheetah now. Cheetah from last year's on Peter Rap Star because. Uh, Cheetah looked like a cat and now we have Kitty B also looks like a cat looks like a feline okay so watch out for next week's episode again 11pm Korean time Fridays and uh, again go to Mnet's web website mama.mwave.me and vote for 4 minute and Hyona best dance performance solo uh, best dance performance for a female group and best female artist and then watch out for watch the episode of watch the ep five episodes of she is 200 years old and that's it uh, thank you for listening uh, if you like the video like it uh, share it subscribe I will see all you guys. Sorry, it's, it got a little long again. I'll see all you guys next week. Same time. Or maybe kind of late, kind of early. Around the same time. Same channel. Comments. Feedback. Tweet me. Post them below. Uh, okay, peace out. Happy Halloween. Forgot. Almost forgot. Happy, happy Halloween to everybody. Okay, bye.